New Year brings some extra tax breaks for commuters who take mass transit. Officials say the combination of a new federal and city law will allow nearly half a million city workers to shave up to $1,000 off their annual commuting costs. How will it affect their employers? CBS News' Diane Macedo has more on the new commuter tax benefit. Mayor de Blasio and Senator Schumer started their morning off handing out flyers to subway riders hoping to spread the word about a new commuter tax benefit. It's brand new. And all you have to do is get your employer to fill out a form and you get it off your taxes. Were you aware of this tax benefit before you no. saw them? No, no. What do I you think? So I think it's a, bit, uh, it's a good opportunity for um, all of us that take the trains every day. The benefit, which took effect January 1st, allows all commuters across America to deduct up to $255 a month from their taxes to pay for mass transit costs. That's way up from last year when Congress cut the benefit to $130. You could always do this if you drove to work. But if you were a mass transit user, you could only take only half of that deduction. And for a while, you couldn't take any of that deduction. And unlike previous increases, which had to be renewed, the mayor says this one is permanent. From this point on, uh, that number will continue to grow with inflation. Still, New York City took things one step further with a new local law. It requires businesses with 20 or more full-time employees to allow workers to use pre-tax income to pay for their commuting costs before this was voluntary. The mandate covers roughly 22,000 city businesses who have until July 1st to comply or be in violation. After that, they have 90 days to fix the violations or face a fine of up to $250. Still some commuters want more. Fund more city bike. De Blasio and Schumer say they pushed for city bike to be included, but were not able to get it approved for this year. In Prospect Heights, Brooklyn, Diane Macedo, CBS2 News.